Hello you guys, welcome to my channel, and today we're gonna do something fun, you know, instead of all the serious stuff. Today we're gonna put this fog light in this right here. I hope you can see it. I took it out, one of them. So you can see it. So the LE model, they have no fog light. So today we're gonna put it in. And you know what they said about judging, don't judge the book by its cover? Well, this one, do judge the book by its cover because that's all it is. I'm just going to make this thing look pretty and that's it. It's not functional at all. Although, this thing is a real fog light, okay? It's not fake. I just did not buy the harness that go with it. So usually if you bought um, the whole complete set, it's come with the wire, the harness. And then it goes straight into, um, basically hook up into your car battery. And then they have the switch that you plug into your dashboard. So you can turn on and off. And those things cost like 40 bucks. And I live in California. And today is kind of rainy, shiny day. So anyway, in, in California where I live, there's never fog. So nobody using it. I have fog light on my other car and I never use it. So basically this is just for the look, okay? So it's a real fog light, but it's just for the look. All right? Okay, so we're gonna, what are we gonna do next is, so this fog light is cost about 10 bucks. I bought it from eBay. You can buy it from eBay, it's 10 bucks. Uh, I think Amazon have too, but it costs a little more. Um, since it's 10 bucks, and you just want to make sure it's still good, so I put a little silicon on a, around it, and also on the the light bulb in the back too. Just cover it, make sure there's no guarantee there's no water going to come in, because I hate that. So... This is 10 bucks, right? I'd rather waste 10 bucks to make it the car look nicer. And I don't care about the functionality, okay? So 10 bucks. So that's what it is. And the next thing you want to do is remove this cover right here. The fake cover. Basically, the fake cover is right here. I open one side, all in the back is just a clip. And in order to install the bolt, what do you want? Um... The, I mean the fog light in order to install it. What you want to do is you go from this side right here, right? So under here, there's a couple, a couple, I think three, uh, ten millimeter meter bolt. You just need to get it out. Um, and then there's a couple, of, uh, yeah, clip right here. You can take it out. There's a bolt up here. You take it out, and there's one more up here. So basically, you take that out so you can pull this this little cover right here. You pull it out so you have uh, room to uh, install the um, the new fog light. And basically, you just need like maybe a couple of screw, and that's it. So let's get started. And let me uh, take out some of the bolt in the back, and then we gonna. So it's a 10 millimeter bolt down here. If my head in the way, sorry. Okay, so down here there's So you got one out. And you got another one right here. Oh, another one fall out. And you got one more down here. I think there's four of them. Hey, four, and 
and there's one more down here, which is uh, it's kind of rip off already. Down here, it's kind of rip off already. So. There you go. Now you get this whole thing fall out, right? As you can see, this thing is loose. Now you need to take this out. And now we're going for the top. Which is this thing. Let me see this side. This one now, and then you go for the next one up here, which is uh, I don't think that's a 10. Yeah, it's not. Uh, so let me get the top one out too. The top one's right here. Top one out. See a little piece. And yeah, my hand again all dirty. Cause it's raining outside too, so. And then just get a uh, a fill up right here. Take it out. Let me get the fill up. I have a lot of fill up right here. Got a fill up. Philip, and now let's try and pull it out and see how that works. Pull that out. So here's there it is. It's dirty. It's dirty. It's dirty. It's dirty as you can see. Oh, great. Anyway, I should do it. So, you attach this someplace. Okay, so now you have a little room in there that you can take. I hope you can see that. There you go. Let me put a light in there. Okay, I got the light right here. So hopefully you can see that better. There you go. Now we just need to take this out. Yep, let me line this up. So all you need to do is take that bad boy out right here. Yep. Clip, clip, clip. There's more clip right here. There you go. So there it is, and if you want to know, the part number is right here. And I don't think this look like it's the original. Tong, Tong Yang? I don't know, this doesn't look original. Right? Anyhow, that's it. Now you clean up this whole thing. Look nice. Let me get a paper. So we just wipe that down. Paper. Wipe it down. 
As you can see, there's only one screw right here that you need to screw in. The other one, you just plug it in right here. Like you plug the thing in right here and then you screw one screw in here. And I think that's how it works. But, like I said, I never tried before. So, let's try it out and see how that works. Excuse me. There you go. That look good. As you can see. And see that look good. Now, yes, on the light, I'm gonna take the left one. Okay. So when you buy one this light, they said right here they have a label. It said left. It said label right here. See the L? That's for left. And it said bottom. So left and this side is in the bottom. Okay, so that's what you want to do. And I hope this works. Okay. So you get left and bottom. So what you want to do is they have, I, I think what you're supposed to do is there's two um, screw holes right here, as you can see. That one, you plug it into here. So, so you plug into here. As you can see, it's, this throwing thing is here you, go. you plug into here. Here, this two slot right here. So what you do is you get this in and hopefully you plug that in. Sorry my hand in the way. So you got that in, and the next thing you want to do is you want to screw that bolt in, and you should be good. Let me see. So I'm going to veto this from the front so you can see. You can see a little bit better. Yep. Yes, sir. So that how it look. So next thing you do is you find a small screw like this, and then you just screw that bad boy in. Yes, that work, and everything look pretty. As you can see, that worked great. So I got the screw in. Only one screw. If you want to put the second one in, that's fine. That's up to you. I don't have to because it's look at this. It's very secure now. Okay, so you got that good. And then on top, just plug it in. And it look really nice. Okay. Well, I think it's look pretty nice. There you go. That's as, as pretty as you can do. Like I said, the bottom screw, they don't have a screw hole for it. But, you know, if you're afraid too much, you can put another screw there to hold it. But look at this. It's very stable. See, very stable. 
So it looked pretty. And as you can see far away. Look at that. It's beautiful. My, my, my. Well, it's beautiful as it looks, right? This is just the look. So don't get all excited. Because just look, there's nothing in the back. Just for the show. Okay, so next thing you want to do is... You take this cover out already. And what you want to do is you want to trim... Some around like this. Alright? Just like that. I did with this one. See that? I trim. It's not perfect. I trim it. I use a cutting knife. Cutting knife. And after that I use the trimmer over there to make it a little smoother and it work. That's what it looks like. It's pretty. When that's just on the left side, so I'm doing the video on the right side right now, so I'll go ahead and cut this up with this very useful knife. Just go, just go cut all around like that, and you should open like that. Then, uh, of course, you don't want to see me cutting here this stuff, but so I'll go ahead and stop right here, and I'll show you when I finish cutting this and then we can snap it in and uh, we go on from there give me a second all right welcome back so I got this one done cut it done everything look nice and smooth go ahead and we just test it out and go and snap this in and see how well it works it should work pretty well hope so. We will see. So I got this in. Everything nice and clean. Snap this in. So let's see. All right, sorry for the interruption, but as you can see, this is in, right? But the problem I don't like it is kind of loose, I would say, because the the plastic clip in the back is uh, it's not that great. So I would recommend um, put a little silicon on the back, right, to seal it. To have it hole, hole in. So look at. Either you have a little silicon, or you can. Uh, uh, I would go with a silicon. It's a lot easier. Okay. But that is how it look. It look really nice when you see far away. You know, later on, when I put both of them, both sides in, I'm gonna dry my car out, so you can see, you can see it better. But look at that, this is pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So, uh, so you do exactly the same thing on the other side, uh, I'll go ahead and do that, and um, get, get this done. And then I will drive the car outside and I'll show you the, the final. Alright. Okay, you guys. There it is. Complete. 
see how beautiful that is. Very secure. Everything is in place. Both sides, as you can see. Beautiful. Pretty much secure. There's no movement. Everything looks beautiful as it is. As you can see. As you can see. Put a new look in the van. And man, that is a fun project. I enjoyed it. After it's come out. All nice and neat. So basically, if you have an LE version, you can do this. Make it look better. And look prettier. For only 10 bucks. And a little time, of course. A little time cutting out the cover. But in the end, it looked nice. It looked perfect. Wow. Make your car look a lot better. A lot better. That's pretty cool, huh? Like I said, that's the original, um, that's the real fog light, okay? Just without the wiring. Ooh, there it is. Nice and done. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this. And I will see you guys on the next video. Alright? Alright, bye.